Hi guys, it's Mino. Welcome back. And uh, here we are at the end of 2020. So I'm very, very excited about this. And uh, I was packing up some paintings the other day and I came across one luminous that was this beautiful ring pour I did after Dreamcatcher, which was also another really cool pour. And those were comb wrecked ring pours. And it was such beautiful lines in there that I really, I started thinking about it again. I'm like, I want to do that one again. So I think that's a really great way to end the year to go out with a bang, as it were. <laughs> so we're gonna do recreating Dreamcatcher Luminous, but without the wreck. So it's just gonna be a beautiful ring pour. And we're only using four colors today. I will show you my colors first. This one is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. Tape the back, put the push pins in. Move that out of the way for a minute. Okay, our first color is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And my paint is nice and thick. It's mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol. So this is Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. This one is Amsterdam Pearl Violet. Also nice and thick and creamy. There we go, so that's the Pearl Violet. This one is Pebio Studios Iridescent Blue Green. Just an absolutely amazing color. Really, really gorgeous. Okay, and then last but not least, we have our Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Well, it seems like a while since you used that. No, I used it. Okay, and then I have two cups of the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet as my flow extender. Okay, so for a 24 by 24 inch canvas, you usually need 21 ounces of paint. For this pour, I only want to use 15 ounces come hell or high water. I don't want to put more in there because in Dreamcatcher, I put too much in there. I put like 17 or 18 and said, oh, it'll be okay. And it was just a little bit too big and I ended up stretching it out. So the whole point of this pour is to pour a smaller, really cool, amazing thing in the center and then put a lot of flow extender around it and then tilt it out and hopefully leave some negative space around it. So if I use too much in here, then I end up tilting it off and I lose that negative space. So I do not want that to happen. 15 ounces, that's it. So <laughs> that's about up to here. All right, so that's about 15 ounces right there. We are not using more paint than that. So the way that we did this last time, I'm gonna start with some of the permanent blue violet. A thicker layer. And then we're gonna come in with the turquoise. Also kind of a nice thick layer. I love the contrast between those two. Just beautiful. And now we're gonna use some of that pearl violet, smaller amount. And now we're gonna put just a small, small amount of gold, just a very little bit. That's it. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's about five ounces right there. So we may even get three layers of this, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna come in again with the permanent blue violet. Nice thick layer. The turquoise again. Not as thick a layer, but still showing up nicely. And look at that contrast, man. It's so pretty. Okay. Now the pearl violet again. And a little bit of gold. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do one more layer, I think, smaller layer. Okay, we are at that line. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little shot of this. <laughs> no, it's still at the line, I'm not over it yet. And a little shot of gold. There, that's our line. Okay, so now this is gonna be part of our base coat, just the solid background that I want on there first. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is exciting. Look at you up there, ha! I knew you couldn't do it. I did too do it. <laughs> Get you, my pretty. And your little dog, Toto, too. I got it on camera. <laughs> yeah, how about you get this on camera, all right? 24 by 24 from Artist Loft. Whew. All right, we're gonna pour a small puddle of gold right into the center. We're going to pour into that. Okay, this is going to be good. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? 
I am indeed, my love. I got right here. Here we go. Hey. Excellent. Well <laughs> done. What is his name? Smothers? Smithers. Smithers. No, that was the, the secretary guy. Yeah. Who was the boss dude? Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. It's cool. It's kind of like a TIE fighter from Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars on the brain. Right? Always. Okay. Let's start this real quick. Okay, we're gonna use our flow extender, see, F-E for flow extender. So this one, these two were mixed the same as that other cup. I just added a little bit of water. So it's thinner. It's not super, super, super thin though, which is just fine. Okay, this is looking good. Take it back over this way just a touch. All right, here we go. Let's pour this around and I have two cups of this, so I am not going to stress. I have lots of paint for what I need to do. So you see there's almost as much, there is as much flow extender on there as there is pour in the center. And the point of that is that we can stretch out the middle and get those beautiful lines to really open up and get all these cells to show and there's more cells popping up there. We're gonna torch it one more time. Let's spread this out a little bit and see if we need that last cup. It's sunny and pretty this morning and I was like, I want to shoot, but the sun was out. And then all of a sudden it got cloudy and I was like, yay, let's go shoot. <laughs> and the reason that's important, if you guys watch Scorpio, you'll see when I'm tilting it, there's like so much glare. It's almost, it's really hard to see anything. So that's why we wait for these cloudy days or shady moments. One of the challenges of shooting outside is that you're at the mercy of the weather. Yes, we are at the mercy of the weather. <laughs> Sometimes you have very small windows. I'm gonna put some of this on my fingers. And we're gonna rub it into the edges and sides. All covered. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I just want to make sure that there's enough there for it to work with and do what it needs to do. All right. Am I stalling now? <laughs> okay. Before we do this, I just want to say thank you to you all. This has been, you know, even in the midst of all this crazy stuff with lockdowns and all that this has been a really really incredible year to be with you guys and your comments I just I'll, I'm gonna tear up if I start talking about it but you guys mean so much to me. thank you so much okay hold on here. hey y'all HOA here I also <laughs> wanted to say thank you and we love you and we wish you all the best for 2021 we'll see you next year okay so you guys mean so much to us, both to HOA and I. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts to be able to paint for you and for your wonderful comments. You guys, just, you're awesome. So thank you so much. Anyways, let's get back to this. There's a couple of things that I want to change. I just want to swirl the center just a tiny bit. Just like that. And then I don't like what's happened here. There's this weird cell, so I'm just going to draw a line through it. And that's all. I'm not going to mess with it more than that. Okay. 
Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I am indeed, my love. And also a huge thanks to my husband of awesomeness who has made me look good all year long <laughs> and brought you guys amazing footage to watch his paint porn, as he calls it, P-O-U-R-N. <laughs> okay, here we go. You're already beautiful and so is your art. I just shoot it. Ah, I love you, baby. Okay, here we go. Let's tilt this thing out. I love this part. That's amazing. So I want to keep that. We're going to anchor that first. So we're going to go down to this side. I almost feel like I should spin this one out. Keep it. Do you think we should? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Get it. Piss me off. <laughs> okay. Let's go down to that edge. You see that nice layer of flow extender. If it looks like it starts rolling over itself, I have more flow extender, but it's not. It's moving beautifully. That's great. So we're going to go to about there. And we're going to bring it back. You see, this is the nice thing that I didn't use too much paint. It's not gushing over the side. Bring this back and we get our cosmic avocado. <laughs> the cosmic avocado was a piece that I did that actually Fiona won in our auction. And that is on its way to Slovenia as we speak. So there's more flow extender over there. So I'm, I am going to let that flow extender go over the edge to anchor it. Right there. We just got the, just the tiniest bit of the corner over. That's okay. So now we're going to take it back to the center. Actually, I'm going to come over this corner too. And we're going to go back towards the center. Okay. Now the weight of the paint is in the center again, so now we're going to go down off of this corner and open this one up. Nice and slow. The way the paint move. I think I want to put some more extender around that side. Because I want the flow extender to go off. I don't want our pour to go off. down to the middle again. You can see what's happening. Okay. See, now at this point, because I still do have a lot of flow extender, if I decide I want to take this corner off, I easily can. I think I want to take this corner off first, though, and anchor this over here a little bit. A little bit more, and then we'll deal with the other two sides, because the weight of the paint is over there already. Did I just turn that around 360 degrees? down to that bottom corner and anchor that one too so that those lines can open up as well. Hello Gail! Wouldn't be a video without Gail. <laughs> okay, here we go. Going off that corner right there. Perfect. 
almost like space shuttle landings. <laughs> Back down to the center again. Okay, now we're going to go off that edge. And I'm going to put a little bit of flow extender over here. This is looking a little dry. We don't want them. Okay, here we go. Last bit. Just let that float down nice and easy. Stretch out. Over this side. And over that side. Excellent. Down to the middle again. That is done. I love it. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm going to take that side down just a little bit more to the center. Open up some more of these lines over here. I'm going to take a little bit of that aqua off at the bottom. That's okay. Once it goes over the edge, and then we'll bring it back, and that'll sell even more. That's awesome. That's it. Ta -da! I like it. Very cool. So I'm going to call this one serendipity because this whole paint journey for me has been just an amazing, magical experience, and I thank you all so much, and I wish you a very, very happy new year. I hope 2021 brings you health and prosperity and peace and love and laughter and joy, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. I'll show you when it's dry. Okay. So this is a couple of days later, and it is dry now, and HOA has very nicely put a coat of the UV-resistant Krylon archival spray, spray gloss on here and it is popping baby so beautiful and sparkly and shimmery and just really really gorgeous I love these lines in here this was that Amsterdam permanent blue violet and Pibio Studios iridescent blue green and our 24 karat gold and the one that has gone missing <laughs> is the Amsterdam pearl violet but it did function to lighten up some of the permanent blue violet in places and give us like a more lavender sort of color. These are like opals. So pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous lines. And that's really what I wanted to happen with Luminous. Like Luminous, where it had beautiful, beautiful lines in it. But this one turned out really, really cool. I love that part right there. And these fingerlings. It's really pretty stuff. That Pebio Studios iridescent blue green is amazing. And I really like the permanent blue violet from Amsterdam too. A nice deep dark color is awesome. A little bit of blue there in the center. Just that sort of opaly sparkling look is amazing though. Very happy with this piece. So this is serendipity and uh, Serendipity is a happy occurrence <laughs> by chance, which has been my painting journey. I, I fell into this accidentally and it's just been joyful for me for the entire time. I really love painting. I love the creativity. I love the science of it. I love the experimentation of it. And I really love that we end up with some awesome, beautiful paintings. So Luck, luck favors prepared me, love. <laughs> yes. I am very, very blessed. So anyway, this is Serendipity. 
Happy New Year to you all. I hope 2021 brings you good health and happiness and prosperity and peace in your heart and in your home and in the world. And uh, I think it's going to be a great year for us all. So thank you so much for being with us. HOA and I really appreciate you guys. And we will see you very, very soon. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.